Okay, let's try some MicroPython stuff on um, the Portenta. Let's put it double push to put it into um, boot mode, then hit connect. And yes, I don't have the firmware installed on the M7 core. Um, and let's see if we can get MicroPython working reasonably quickly. So it's just installing and uh, it's reasonably quick. I think this is the last one. Now over here, I've got the thing for the Portenta Vision Shield, which I have and I'll, I've, I've done some videos for it. Um, there we go. So the little window that I kind of deal with as micro Python window uh, there it is. It popped up. There's nothing in there except for its boot information. So I'm going to go to examples. This is uh, the new version of OpenMV uh, 2.6.8. And I really like it has an Arduino. I don't think they're set up for Arduino yet, but I want this main in here. And I want to run that and see what happens. We get a different type of flashing, flashing green. Now, um, if I disconnect this, there is nothing on that boot drive as a boot program. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, open up tools. I'm going to save this script. Let's have a quick look at the script. LED3, which is blue. Um, if USB is connected, it flashes blue. Uh, LED 2, which is green. Oh, this one is if it's connected, it flashes green. We didn't see the flashing blue. So let's dump that onto the drive, strip comments, blah, blah, blah. There you go. We now have a main.py in there. And if we reboot the computer, no, nope, if we run it, we are connected and it's flashing green. But where this is now different is if I disconnect it and hook it up to um, a USB, don't know why that took so long, it's now flashing blue because it's not connected uh, with a serial connection. Okay, if that's making some sense. Um, so back onto here. We connect it up again, um, and let me reboot and see what happens with this folder. So this folder pops up. It's kept the main.py. I don't have an SD card in there. That's just its, its internal storage. So let's just have a quick look. If I throw a text document in there, I, it's just my way of editing stuff. And I go in here, and let's say change that unconnected, so I'm not connected to the IDE, to one which was red. And I save it, and then that quick red simply meant it was installing it, but it's still running the old program until you hit a boot. So I'm going to hit boot, and there we go with red. If I change it to green, and all I'm doing here is proving that uh, MicroPython uh, works. It's still until you flash it once. Flashing, uh, pushing the button twice means you're going into bootload, uh, bootloader mode. And let's go back to three. Once again, I'm just proving that this works. So I save it. Now we should, a single push, we should get back to blue. Yay! MicroPython is working. And it's, uh, I don't really like this little problem thing here, but it's not that big a deal. Um, now, where did my boot go? Let me just run, oh, oh, darn, I was too quick. It takes a little bit of time for that boot thing to show up. Um, that's it. Uh, let's see the boot again, and I can just open up my main.py. So this is running without the OpenMV. IDE on the Arduino Portenta uh, H7 running MicroPython, which was, you know, something people were expecting on the Portenta. 
So that's it.